Amy, tell me about this three, this competition. What was it? What? Tell me about this competition. What's MI's week? Me? <laughs> yes, you, Amy. Okay. Um, the uh, competition is uh, about the uh, law, LOL. And they, and they join a team and compete, compete with another team. And if they win, they have a very good prize for you, you, hmm. for did you take part? Sorry, I can't hear you. Did you take part in the competition? Car? Did. Can you type the word? Just a minute. Thank you. Take part. So that means did you? Oh, no, were I. You part of it? Did you? No, no, I didn't. I didn't take part in. I planned the competition. I joined the plan of com mm. competition, but I didn't. I didn't join. Uh, I didn't. Didn't join any group. Mm. One of the other students has told me that you are a good runner. Runner? Yeah, runner? you go jogging every night. <laughs> go jogging every night. Yes. Is that not true? No, 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 no. I, I think that's not, not me. Okay. Well, Annie told me that, so tell us. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I didn't, I didn't jogging every day. No. Okay. Now I'm having some trouble with this platform because it's not letting me show your pictures. Obviously I can talk to you um, and I'm also going to have to get the TAs, Wendy or Sylvia, to upload for me uh, the videos, but should be, we should be okay. Um, now this, does anybody know what an idiom is, an idiom? So Annie, do you know what an idiom idiom me is? What it means? If I say this word is idiom or idiomatic? It means it's a slang word. Slang word. So it's uh -huh. like informal and it's used in conversation. So yeah, sort of a set phrase, but only in conversation. We we wouldn't normally write it down unless we were being very friendly or something. All right. Now, Annie, you can do the first one since you're there. Um, as I said, I can't show people's pictures. It's not letting me. But it says, if you feel sad because your boyfriend or girlfriend leaves you, you may be suffering from a sore heart, a painful heart, heartache, or a pain in your heart. Which would you choose, Annie? A sore heart. No. <laughs> Three to go. <laughs> mm. A pen in your heart. Nope. Fifty fifty. <laughs> um uh, heart attack. <laughs> no, 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 one of these two. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Which one? Is that heart attack? Heart or heartache? You can't have heart attack, it's not there. Heart heartache. That's right. So if you have a heartache. <laughs> That means you're very sad for some reason. So 
So I've got heartache because you can't answer this problem. <laughs> All right. Would you just excuse me one minute? I'm just going to log back in. Thank you. That seems to be better. I just don't know why the um, videos are not working. Okay, um, Monica, can you do the next one? See if we can avoid heartache. Okay. Just a minute, please. Uh. Okay, so number two is my grandma uh, is the kindest woman I know. Um, she'd do anything for anybody. She really has a heart of which metal? Gold, silver, steel or stone? Gold. Yes, that's the only answer there. So have you got a heart of gold, Monica? Yes. You're a good girl, a yes. nice, kind woman. All right, uh, we don't say a heart of silver, a heart of steel. We do sometimes say she has a heart of stone. What do you mean? What do you think that means, Monica? So if somebody has a heart of stone. Uh, she means someone's very cold. Mm, no, she's very tough and a bit mean. So. You might say, Pearl has a heart of stone. She doesn't, not kind to anybody, that's not true. Pearl has a heart of gold. But a heart of stone means you're not kind and you're a bit nasty. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Lu Lulu. Good morning, teacher. Hello. The next one says, I never got, I never get on with Fiona. When I heard my, she was going to be my new boss, my heart, which one, sink, sunk, sink or sank? Sank. Yes, that's right. My heart sank. That's the past tense of to sink. So with sink just doesn't exist. Sink is present tense, and sunk is another type of past tense, but you want the past participle here, which is sank. Um, if you say, what, what if, if something sinks, what does that mean, Zulu, if something sinks? Something... Uh, down. Yeah, uh, there was a famous boat in 1912 that sank. Do you know what it was? There was a famous film about it. I have no idea. Heard of the Titanic? Oh. Hmm. Did you see that film? Yes. Yes, well the Titanic sank, I think it was in 1912. So the Titanic sank in the ocean somewhere. Okay. Okay. Rita, actually no, Amy. Yes. Can you do this one? What does the following mean? When what he gave up running, he said it was because his heart just wasn't in it anymore. So it's like um, Annie, she gave up. No, you gave up running, didn't you? Anyway, so when you gave up running, how did, how did you feel? Ill, bored or not interested, wanted to move away or wanted to do something else? So if you said your heart is not in it anymore, 
Wong wanted to do mean? something else. Uh, no, um, no, another one. Mm. Actually, no, uh, that, uh, no, that, that one's, care. yeah, that one's the correct one. That one is correct. That would, that would be okay, but I think that's the better one. So yes, what you said first, you wanted to do something else. So if you get sick of something, my heart's not in it. I really want to do something else. So I think that's the best one. What about you, Amy? What, you know, what you, did you have a hobby that you don't do anymore because your heart wasn't in it? Uh, I think no. I keep doing did you, my hobby. Did you, <laughs> did you like playing with dolls when you were a little girl? Pen. When you were a little girl, did you play with dolls? Dolls? But I still play no with dolls? dolls now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I still play with dolls today. Do you like teddy bears? Yeah, I have a really big one. <laughs> I better stop it before you tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. That, no, no, um, are they? Do you have a lot of dolls? Um, I have two on my bed now. Hmm. Are they expensive ones or old ones? About twenty, uh, two hundred and T. Hmm. Not, so how not old expensive. are they? How old? Um. Uh, Two years old. Okay. Are they big or little? Big one. I can hold it when I'm mm. sleep. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Amy. Rita. Hello, teacher. Hello. When Tony moved into his apartment in the heart of town, which part of the town did he move to? So it's saying is the heart of the town. Is it the suburbs, the outskirts, the commuter belt, or the center? Which one? The center. The center of town. Yeah, that's correct. So the heart of the town is the middle of the town, like, you know. Now, what's a commuter? Uh, people want to go to work and uh, they, they will commute. Commuting. That's right, they commute to work. So commuting, it can be by car or by public transport. Now, the suburbs are the same as the outskirts. And so if you have the center of the town, the suburbs are outskirts of the the areas around, little areas around the town. That's uh, We usually call them the suburbs rather than the outskirts, but they both mean the same. So where do you live, Rita? Do you live in the center of Gaozhong or do you live in the suburbs of Gaozhong? I live in the suburbs of Gaozhong. Okay. How far is it from the university? Uh, 40 minutes. So how do you get to school every day? I live in the dorm. Ah, I see. So your your family lives forty minutes away. Yes. Mm. How often do you go home? Mm, one a month. Once a month, okay. In your dorms, um, are they all female or mixed? All female. Okay, and what you get a room and a bathroom, or do you have to use a a bathroom with other people. Uh, we we should use the bathroom with other people. Okay. Do you have a single room? No. Uh, four people living in a room. Hmm. Is do you would you rather to live by yourself or are you happy with four other girls or three other girls? 
I, I like to live with others. Mm, that's good. So we say you are gregarious. Gregarious means that you like other people and you're happy to be with them. So you are a gregarious Rita. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Coco. Actually, no, Johnny, sorry. Hello, Johnny, how are you? Uh, yes. Hey, hello, teacher. Johnny, we talk to each other all night and resolve some of our problems. It's good to have a proper something sometimes. Heart to heart, heart to head, head to heart or head to head. So you're looking for something that means you, you had a good talk with somebody else and you sort your problems out. Which one do you think it is? I think it's heart to heart. That's right. So if you, if you have a heart to heart, we usually say a heart to heart conversation. That means a meaningful conversation. So you, each of you were willing to, to talk and you sorted it out. So you might have a heart to heart with your girlfriend or boyfriend or your parents. And it means that you know, you talked out your problems and everybody was happy. So heart to heart, these are not right. Um, if somebody said, I went head to head with him in a race, just typing, sorry, in a race, what does that mean? So if you go head to head with somebody, what does that, what do you think that means? This means, uh Oh, uh, That's right. So you're competing with somebody. So I went head to head to, with him trying to get that job. So head to head means you have a competition with somebody in some way. All right, Johnny. So, Johnny, what have you had, a head to head or a heart to heart? Sorry? So which which were, which of you had in your life a head to head competition or a heart to heart talk with somebody? Uh, head to head competition. <laughs> All right, what competition? Um, test. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Now, Coco. Hello. I'm I'm going to get uh, the TAs to play a video in a minute, and I want you to tell me what the video is about. It's it's uh, it's 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 there's no sound or no no speaking, but you tell me what you think it is, okay? Now, okay. I can't. Just a minute. No, it, um, Sylvia or Wendy, could you, just a minute, not letting me paste. Just a second. upload and I can't um wonder if um so let me try something else. Oh I can't paste but it's a minute. Alright. Um Okay, can you see that, Sylvia? Yes. 
or Randy, can you see that Google? Okay, could you click the first one that said Hiroshima atomic bomb? Could you click that and play it, please? the very first video on the screen. Just click, actually, I'll try from here, just a minute. Can you see that now? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Coco, can, can, can you see the screen? Yes. Can you see Google? Yes. I, I can't pick, copy and paste, but I can type only. Um, can you go to, all right, can you go to Google? and put in Hiroshima. Uh, just a minute. All right. C can you play that first one, please, that shows the atomic bomb? I've already told you what it is, Coco, but you can tell me, you can describe it, okay? I saw an aircraft, like a tiny silver drop, center of the sky above Hiroshima. I instantly recognized it as an American plane. I saw an aircraft, like a tiny silver On August the 6th, 1945, two American Super Fortress bombers arrived over the Japanese Hiroshima. I saw an aircraft, like a tiny silver drop entering the sky above Hiroshima. I instantly recognized it as an American plane, as no Japanese aircraft could fly at that altitude. Just a minute, stop. Uh, let me see if I can see the one it is. I can actually see what you've got on your screen. I don't think you're getting the view I see. Wait a minute. Uh, 
about um, if you scroll down the page yeah that might yeah that one Coco, did you see that? Yes. Try, tell me, what is it? A tummy bomb. Mm. Do how many atomic bombs? Just a minute, I'm typing this for you. How many atomic bombs were dropped on Japan by the Americans? Two. Two. Yeah. Coco, do you think they should have been dropped? No. Why not? No. It is so dangerous. Hmm. Okay, now I want to discuss the Iran problems, um, and I, you'll see why I've shown that video in a minute. All right, this, this is on the Iran nuclear deal, it's only one page. Um, the nuclear, an atomic bomb, is the same as a nuclear bomb. Um, Ivy, do you have nuclear power in Taiwan? Yes. Hmm. Do you use it? Um, maybe. <laughs> I know. Um, ha do you know how many nuclear power stations there are in Taiwan? Three, four. Four? Hmm. Interesting. They work. Do you know the name of the element they use to make? Nuclear power begins with U. Yoma. Not Yoma, Yoma. English. <laughs> you. That's right, uranium. It's a, it's a partic It's actually called. Uh, I think it's uranium two three five. It's called an isotope. Isotope of uranium, and it has to be enriched. That means that it has to be changed to make it into a particular uh, a form of uranium which is pure. Okay. Um, thank you, Ivy. Now, this is talking about um, Iran. The United States Secretary of State John Kerry said a nuclear deal with Iran would see it curb the enrichment of uranium. Now, curb means uh, cut or reduce. So, if you curb something, it means you reduce it. So, curb the enrichment of uranium. So Iran has uranium and it's enriching it, which means it making it more pure. So it comes, you know, 
it has to be made more pure or you can't blow it up. So they're enriching it. So a nuclear deal has been reached. So Iran will reduce the enrichment of uranium. And that's one side of the deal. The other side is in return for the easing of international sanctions. And that means the Americans are going to, uh, re they are going to reduce or ease their sanctions on Iran, which is things like they can't sell their oil, they can't import uh, luxury goods. And so those are the two sides of the deal. So the Americans will reduce the sanctions or curb sanctions, and the in return, the Ira Iran will reduce their enrichment of uranium. Now they're saying um, this deal will test Tehran's words and intentions. So it means that Tehran have agreed, Tehran is the capital of Iran, Tehran or Iran have agreed and it will, it now, they'll now see if they actually intend to keep their part of the bargain. So are they going to stop or won't they? John. Hi. Good morning. Have you, <laughs> John? Uh, do you know where Iran is? Huh? Have you heard of Iran? How long? What? <laughs> what is Iran? Oh, this country. The U.S. always yeah. want to punish. Want to punish it. Yeah. What is the religion yeah. of Iran? Who's this one? Religion. Ah. Uh, Catholic Church. Ah <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say. <laughs> yeah. Yes, what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You keep saying yes. Yeah. What's the religion of Iran? Uh, uh, maybe the right side. Yeah, but what is the religion of Iran? Religion. That's right, Muslim or I Islam. Now, yeah. do do Americans support Islamic people? Now, be careful how you answer that. Think about it. Do we, do Americans support Islamic people? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> they want to limit them. So you're saying the Americans dislike all Islamic people, uh, or maybe. only one group? Yeah. So what group uh, do they not like? The president, maybe the. Yeah. You know, no, but uh, what Islamic group? What is Not all group? of them, but. Uh, the group. Terror. Terror what? The, the, the group in government, is it? Mm, t well. The group in government are usually not seen as terror. But what's the word? Is it what's the name of the people that blow themselves up? The people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mike's got the word a terrorist. So, just a minute, I'm going to see if I can. Yeah. That's interesting. 
Right. How would you like this person for a friend? <laughs> Horrible. No? All right. Horrible. Why? Horrible. <laughs> Why? <laughs> huh? So, what, what will this person do to you, John? Huh? If you meet them in Iran, what would this person do to you? Give uh, you a cup of green tea? <laughs> Maybe kill people. Exactly. So yeah. the, the Americans don't like terrorists. Huh? Yeah. Now, in Iran, uh, it's not terrorists. There's another problem. Iran uh, maybe wants a nuclear bomb. Yeah. Why do you think? Why do you think they want one? They want maybe. So why does Iran run? A, what are they going to do with their nuclear bomb? Hmm. Maybe they want to use it to destroy the U.S. or exactly or the U.S. fan. One other country they want to blow up. Uh, the Europe. Uh, the, country the, country. Europe. The, the, well, the country in Europe. The country in Europe, but there's one, there's one nearby that they don't like. Uh, no oh, yeah, I've got it here. Just a minute. <laughs> Just a minute. Uh, Here it yeah. comes. Now, Maybe. this is Iran. Now, yeah. there's a. Th I'm gonna. Are they f are they friends with Pakistan, Iran? Pakistan. Do they like Pakistanis? What is this Pakistan? I don't know this country. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Pakistan has lots of Islamic people. So they like them. Afghanistan. Oh. Is that Islamic? Islamic? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. So we've yeah. got Iran is Islamic, Pakistan is Islamic, Afghanistan oh. is Islamic. Um, oh. Saudi Arabia, do they like them? Maybe, maybe no, <laughs> maybe no. N neutral. Because Saudi neutral. Arabia support. What about Iraq? Uh. Do Iran and Iraq love each other? <laughs> maybe, okay. <laughs> no, they, they hate each other. Really? Both countries, yeah, both countries are Islamic, oh. but they're different types. So oh. one is Shiite, Shiite, and the other one is um, uh, Shiite, uh, Sunni. So the Shiite Muslims and Sunni Muslims. I think Iran are Shiite and Iraq are Sunni. I think that. But anyway, they hate each other. So, so Iran would like to bomb Iraq. <laughs> there are nuclear bomb there. And there's one nuclear other bomb. tiny country they hate. Can, oh, just a minute. Can, maybe can you see which country on? Yep. The country on there they hate. The Turkey. No. 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 Look over here. They'd love to send a bomb to who? Which oh. country? It's full of Jews. Not Jordan, John. <laughs> what country is full of Jews? 
It's the Jewish state. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Which one? friend. Uh, the is Israel. Yes, Israel. Yeah. The friend. Of Very tiny North country. America. Huh? Yeah, it's only um, it's only this big. Yeah. And remember, look at Iran. So you could fit about fifty Israels into Iran. Yeah. Now, Israel are Jewish. Jewish and Christian, actually, they're a mix, but mainly Jewish. Iran are Islam or Muslim. Now, they, they, Israel already has nuclear bombs. They are westernized. They support America, or rather, America support them. So the USA support Israel. Yeah. And yeah. Iran hates the US. Yeah. And it hates Jews. So oh. they want to bomb Israel. <laughs> so that's the whole yeah. problem. So America wants to stop Iran from getting a nuclear bomb. Yeah. So, all right, you need to do some geography lessons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, yeah. Actually, Pearl, to answer your question. Yeah. Um, this Israel is the yellow area this bit here I think it's called Palestine and it's the it's the Arabic area of Israel or if you like um, and the the Israelis control it and it's inside Israel, but it's mainly where uh, Arabic people live. And they think that they should have their own country, but Israel don't agree. Oh. So that's another reason Iran don't like them. Uh, so anyway. Nicholas. Yes? Oh. Where did you get this map? I, I, I think it's very vivid. The, the color. Um, I, I just. Yeah. I just put into Google, um, I'll try and, I don't think I can paste it, cause it won't let me paste today for some reason, but if you go to Google and put in, um, just a minute, Iran map, it's, you'll find it's one of those, Pearl. There are so many maps. Some are really blurry. Yeah, I know. Some are really, yeah, but this one with colored separation, it makes um, countries visible, more visible. Mm. Uh, so what keyword uh, did you type? Just let me see if I can find this again. <laughs> now, of course, I can't find it. Just a minute. Yeah, you're right. Some of them are blurry. All right, if you put in Iran and Israel under images in Google search, it'll come up as the second set of images down. Iran and Israel. And uh, as I said, it should come up there. You'll see it quite clearly. Whew. Sorry, I can't paste today. It won't, just won't let me do it. Okay, I think I, I can see it on student's screen. But funny, we cannot see it on our screen the, of the big classroom. Which one? 
There must be problems today because normally I can paste paste in and it just won't let me paste today. I can type anything and I can copy the image but I cannot Yeah, you cannot I can't paste. paste it. No wonder we, we cannot see it on our big screen. Well, no problem. We can see it from our student screen. Uh, anyway, it's lucky way. that you are so Australia is so far away from Middle East, Mid East, right? Oh yes, we're we're all quite thankful. Close back Sorry, to you. Just one minute. Yep. I'm just going to see. Now, just a second, please. No, it's very annoying. Okay. Um, yeah. Does that come up, Pearl? Can you see it now? Very clearly. All right. So that's the map anyway. All right. So there's two sides to this. So Cindy, hello. Hello, teacher. What what are international sanctions, Cindy? What does that mean? So give me an example of a sanction that might be against Iran, Cindy. What sort of thing can you think of? The, the san sanction means something down in the top. Yeah. So what product does Iran e try to export? begins with O and has got three letters and it's black and sticky oil that's right so they want to export oil so can you guess what one sanction is so they want to expect they want to export oil so what is the sanction Iran get any money? No, no. That, that's right. So the country is very poor, is poor because of yes. the sanctions. All right. So when when you were a little girl, Cindy, and you were a naughty girl, 
what did your what did your parents do? How did they punish you? They will ban me and uh, give uh, some punish. All right, but what did they do? Punish. Did they spank you? No, no. Um, They, they will punish me, stand and uh, and uh, <laughs> they will ask me to stand in a corner. Oh, the stand in the corner. Okay, that's like a sanction. Yes. So the sanction was to no. make you stand in the corner. And you were embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, you, um, let me think. Introspection. <laughs> Introspection. Yes. That's interesting. Introspection means you think about it. So go to the corner and think about <laughs> what you have done. Yeah, you think, think why uh, I, yes, think what I have done, Ra I done yeah. wrong. Rather than, re yeah. Just a, um, rather than introspect, you might say reflect. So reflect on your naughty behavior. Um, yeah, so this image here, I don't know if this will work, of course. Yes, it will. Um, so the, I put introspection into Google images, and this is the person, he's thinking about something. So introspection is thinking, so or reflect. If you reflect or reflection on something, that that's the sort of the saying you're thinking about your naughty things. So were you a, were you a bad girl when you were little? No, but sometimes I will I I will do something wrong. Oh, I see. Okay, I hope you don't I hope you don't spend too much time in the corner now. I suppose with with Amy we could take her dolls away, but we can't do that because you haven't got them. Okay, thank you. All right. So to go back to, um, we've got a nuclear deal, and so it, uh, Iran will will reduce its uranium enrichment, and sanctions against it will be reduced by the U.S. Now the interim pact. This is the nuclear deal. Interim means um, temporary. So it's uh, interim is temporary, it's not permanent. And pact is an agreement. So deal and pact are the same thing. Curb and uh, ease are similar. So pact and deal, they both mean an agreement. So this temporary deal between all these countries US, mainly the US, also France, Germany, Britain, China, and Russia, won the critical endorsement of Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Um, critical, I don't know why they're saying this, critical endorsement means he supports it. And Ayatollah is a, a religious leader. So if you hear Ayatollah, uh, it's, an, it's an Arabic, sorry, it's an is Iranian word, meaning a leader, so Ayatollah, they tend to, yes, here's one, um,
So this fellow is called the Ayatollah Khomeini. He was he was a leader of Iran many years ago. There's a story, but I won't tell you that. But he's called an Ayatollah. And <laughs> yes, that's interesting, Wendy. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. I should ask you about it. I don't know if I can do anything about that. No, well, let me do it. Um, but yeah. So anyway, so he's an Ayatollah. So this fellow's a new one, Kamini, and um, he he's a he's a religious leader in Iran. And he thinks it's okay, so endorsement is okay. But Israel fears Iran is buying time to continue its nuclear weapons program. So Israel don't agree. So all these countries are saying, yeah, good. Israel is saying, nah, bad. And the reason they're saying it, um, it's not the same one pearl, the other one's dead. There's a new one now. So this is the same name, but it's a di different person. Anyway, Israel doesn't agree because it says it's buying time. That means that Iran just wants more time where the sanctions are gone, but they want to continue its program. And in fact, they think the deal offers billions of dollars in concessions. So remember, sanctions are really to stop Iran having any income. So the sanctions, <laughs> yeah, there's little in return. So they're going to get all their ease, all their sanctions eased by Iran, but really Israel don't trust them. Yeah. All right, so Israel don't trust them. Um, now Israel says the buying time. Um, James, what do you think buying time means? Um, to last longer. Yeah, that's right. So Iran wants just time to continue its nuclear program. Why don't Israel trust them, James? Israel has Iran. Yeah, and, and, and also vice versa. Do you know what that means, vice versa? Uh, yes. The opposite, uh, well, the same thing opposite. So in this case, if you say vice versa, what I'm saying is Israel hates Iran and Iran hates Israel. So you could say Israel hates Iran and vice versa. Or you could say Iran hates Israel and vice versa. So it just means the same is true both ways. Um, James, what do you think of nuclear weapons? It's really dangerous. Yes. Do you think Israel should be allowed to keep theirs? Remember, they've already no. got them. No. Do you think that they are going to give them up? I don't think so. No, neither do I. 
<laughs> so uh, it's interesting. Do you have nuclear weapons in Taiwan? I don't know. I think we don't have it. No, you have a um, treaty with the USA, which is supposed to guarantee your safety. So if China attack Tai uh, Taiwan, the US is supposed to come and help you. The result will probably be World War Three. So it's very worrying. Thank you, James. Now, the world has become a much more dangerous place. So this is Israel talking. It's actually the Israel Prime Minister, Mr. Netanyahu. He says the world has become a much more dangerous place. Uh, and the reason is that the most dangerous regime in the world, so remember it's Israel talking, took a significant step towards obtaining the world's most dangerous weapon. Joanne. Hello. Yes. Joanne, uh, remember it's the Israeli Prime Minister talking. Who is he referring to the most dangerous regime in the world? Who is he referring to? Can you say again? What country? Yeah. Mr. Netanyahu, the Prime Minister, he says the world is more dangerous because the most dangerous regime in the world uh, what who is he referring to what regime what government not Islam more specific what country Israel no Israel's talking Um, United States. Iran. Israel. Oh, Iran. Yeah, Iran. And the, so he's talking about Iran, and he's saying they're a very dangerous government. Regime means government. And why? Why is he saying that? Because what are Iran trying to do? Obtaining the world's most dangerous weapon, nuclear. That's right. And what what is the world's most dangerous weapon? Nuclear weapon. That's right. So, this Mr. Netanyahu does not support this agreement. He says the world's more dangerous because Iran, the most dangerous regime in the world, they've got another step towards getting this bomb. So he doesn't agree with this. What do you think, Joanne? Do you think that Iran should be allowed to develop a nuclear weapon or not? I think they shouldn't. Why? Um, because they might do something crazy. Hmm. Yes, exactly. We, everybody thinks that Israel, uh, at least they... Uh, they are, um, how do I put it, they are a good government. Some people would argue with that, but at least they have nuclear weapons, Israel, but so far they have not used them on Iran. So that's probably a good thing. Thanks, Joanne. Now, the deal does not require Iran to stop all enrichment. So they refuse to, to agree to stopping it, but, but it does demand, so the, the deal it does demand a halt to refinement. So halt means stop. So they can keep making uranium, but they're not allowed to enrich it. Um, so they're not allowed to enrich it, but they can make it. They're uh, refining is the same as enrichment. So these two words, uh, enrichment and refining, they both mean making something more pure. So 
so and the more pure the greater the purity the 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 more likely it it um the greater the purity the greater the likelihood you can use it in a nuclear bomb so they're saying here that the a purity above five percent of uranium refined to a high degree provides the explosive core of a nuclear bomb so five percent uranium means you can make a bomb less than five percent is okay for nuclear power stations so for power you do not need five percent so the they're saying stop enriching it but you know you, it's okay to have some now this u.s president if iran does not meet its commitments during the six months period covered by the interim deal washington would turn off the tap of sanctions relief and increase the pressure so in other words if iran do not uh, keep to their agreement keep their word then washington will um will start the sanctions will start the sanctions again and increase pressure um rosie hi Inter. hello rosie um what is how long is this deal for Six. So they, they've got a deal. How, so how long is it? Six months. That's six months. What does interim mean? Uh, oh, temporary. Yeah, temporary. So an interim deal. It's only six months. It's not permanent. Oh. Now, what do you think about all this, Rosie? Do you think it's fair for Iran? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So do you think Iran should be allowed to develop a nuclear bomb? No. Because? Because it's dangerous. Huh? Yes. The world is a more dangerous place. And one of the things Iran like doing, or Iranians, is this. So, what are those people doing there? Burning American flag. That's right. They love burning flags in uh, in the Middle East. They spend all their time burning flags or burning uh, um, the burning little dolls of Americans. And the Americans consider this an insult. The Americans are very proud of their flag. And if people, if you did this in the U.S., you could be charged with treason. What's treason? Uh, rebel? Betray? Sort of. Betray is a better word. So if you betray your country, that's treason. And in the US, you can be hung. So they have the oh. death penalty for treason. So they're trying to get hold of... Um, have you heard of WikiLeaks? No. No. Oh, yeah. Pearl, shall I... Yeah. Oh, you have? Yes. What's WikiLeaks? It's it's hike hiker hike hiker haiku haiku. Haiku. H A C. This. How hacker? Yes. Oh. Sort of right. Um, Pearl, shall I talk about WikiLeaks next week? The teacher is not here right now. Oh, 
all right, well, next week I, I'll do something on WikiLeaks because that is something which is quite interesting. And I'll ask you lots of questions, Rosie, because you've heard about it. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I promise I won't ask. All right, let's stop there for a break. I'll see you in a few minutes, okay? Mm. Okay, shall we continue? Who are we up to? <clears throat> Leonard, how are you? Hi, Dito. Hello. Leonard, um, can you do the first question, please? It says, is, this, is a, this is a listening. It's on the same topic that I I did that reading on. Um, now, these questions are fairly difficult, so the people I choose, don't worry if you don't get them right, okay? They're not, they're not, they're not hard, but they're not easy either. So, Leonard, could you do the first one, please? Okay. Israel says the deal Israel makes the world a more dangerous place. Mm. Why? Okay. okay. Why? Right. Mike, can you do the next one? Can you do the next one? Sure. So it says why so might says Israel, why still, Israel attack still attack Iran? Okay. okay. Carlos. Carlos. Number three. Yes. Okay. Some Israeli government critics believe Israel has military power they can't use. Why? Now, it's a tricky question, Carlos. There is an answer given. But see, see how you go, but don't worry if you don't get it, all right? Will, can you do the next one? Okay. So there's two conditions that Iran must agree to see if you can identify one or both, okay? Okay. Right, Luke. What does Iran get in return for agreeing to the treaty? And Luke, you can do both questions, please. So number five, also number six, is the agreement regarded as final by the Americans? So do five and six. I think we've already answered those questions, but do those. Are you there, Luke? Yes. All right, that would be good. So if you can do numbers five and six, okay. 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 Jocelyn. Hello. Hello. Can you do the next Can you do number seven? Um, it says, the speaker mentions one final thing that Iran must agree to right at the end. So the t uh, number four, that's in the middle, um, Will. So right at the end, Jocelyn, what's the final thing that Iran must agree to? Okay. And Jocelyn, could you, do, could you also do number eight? That's a question. It says, what do you think is the speaker's final opinion about Iran agreeing to this? Do you think he agrees or not agrees that Iran will agree in the long term? So that's your opinion based on what you hear. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Um, can you start that playing when you're ready, please, uh, Sylvia or Wendy?
ok. Leonard, Israel says the deal makes the world a more dangerous place. Why? Hmm. Because it it makes it makes Iran to to obtain the most dangerous weapon. Hmm. So so the international community, the government the governments of the West, have insisted Iran oh. stop all enrichment. That's been there for years. They've been saying, "Let's like, stop enrichment." But now, under this new deal, Iran will be allowed to continue enrichment, but less. So it's going to be more dangerous because Iran still has the ability to make a nuclear weapon. They, so they, 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 if you, they're not stopping enrichment. They just have to do it at a renew, at a less rate. Okay. But it's still quite dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mike, uh, why might yes. Israel attack Iran? What would be the point? Oh, because they want to stop Iran developing the nuclear weapon. Exactly. They don't want them to develop a nuclear weapon at all. Um, so it's probably a good idea, but if they do attack, Iran is going to be a whole problem because the rest of the Middle East might attack them. Um, all right, uh, Carlos. Uh, some Israeli government critic, critics believe Israel has power it can't use. Why? Uh, because it has placed too much strength in military, but they are too weak diplomatically. That's right. Um, I had to think about this because. Um, as you say, they've got great military power, they've got the nuclear bomb, but they're weak diplomatically. Now, I think what that means, this is my interpretation, it's not in the text, it's not in the listening. I thought about it, so they've, they've got a lot of power, they've got a nuclear bomb, and they've also got an army, but Israel is weak diplomatically, so um, they should, they don't like negotiating Israel, they just like dropping a bomb on somebody and that's the end of it. Now they can't go around just attacking other countries. They do have to make some effort diplomatically. So they're, they're supposed to negotiate. If that fails, then perhaps they can attack, um, they can attack Iran. Otherwise, Israel will be condemned by the rest of the world. So they have to be careful. So they, they don't have good diplomacy. They just like going in and blowing everybody up is quicker. But they need to stop that because otherwise they'll be the rest of the world won't accept them. So they have to be careful because Israel is not popular in the Middle East and they do need Western friends, otherwise they won't survive. And I think America gives them about four billion US a year. So they they get a lot of money from America. So they need to keep they need to stay on the they need to be accepted by the rest of the world. Okay, Will. Um, there are two conditions. Did you get them? Mm, no, sorry. All right. That's all right. Well, one is that Iran has a stockpile. Tell me what that means in a minute, um, Will. Has a stockpile of 20% enriched uranium. Must be scrapped. So this stockpile, they have a lot of uranium which is enriched it has to be scrapped got rid of that's one and the other one there must be no more installation of centrifuges which are used for enrichment of uranium now a centrifuge just a minute I'll show you um, I know what it is when you see it This is a centrifuge. Um, you put in something and it's, it, it rotates at a big speed and it makes anything at the... So if you have a test tube, 
anything that the t it that's mixed in, well, if you centrifuge it, it sinks to the bottom. Okay, so this is called a centrifuge. Now, obviously, the ones used in military applications are much, much larger. Okay, so the Iran has to get rid of its centrifuges. Okay, now, uh, Will, what does stockpile mean? If you stockpile something or have a stockpile, what does it mean? Uh, it's a container. Uh, to store something. Yeah, that's right, to store something. So if you have a stockpile, it means that you store it up. So you might have a stockpile of grain in case of drought or a stockpile of um, something like food if you think that food is going to run out. So they're not allowed to stockpile. They, they, have, a, they have a store of this uranium. It's got to be scrapped, got rid of, destroyed and then they can't use any more centrifuges. So those are the two conditions. All right, uh, Luke, what does Iran get in return for agreeing to the treaty? Mm -hmm. Oil is gold. Hmm. So the sanctions will be removed. That means they can sell oil and they'll get access to billions of dollars oil is worth a lot of money and is this agreement regarded as final or not by the Americans uh, Luke sorry I don't know <laughs> all right you remember from before we said it was an interim agreement so it's an interim that means temporary and they're hoping the US are hoping it will lead to a more comprehensive Comprehensive means greater or wider, a more comprehensive final agreement. So, so it's only interim, so they hope in six months' time they'll be able to get another agreement. And finally, um, Jocelyn, the speaker mentioned yeah. one final thing that this person Sorry, Iran has to agree to. Did you get it? No, no. All right, he was right at the end and he said that. Well, what did they say? What did they say? Oh, sorry. Oh. So, what do Iran have to agree to? Yes. Yes, so Iran must agree to inspection of its nuclear facilities. What does that mean? What do you think a nuclear facility means? What do they do inside? If I told you it's a, a facility here is a factory, what do you think they make in a nuclear facili facility? To check, to check that. That's right. They check, they're going to check their nuclear f to make sure they're not making any more bombs. So, yes. um, you know, they they want to, so the Americans or somebody will go in and inspect their nuclear facility. Now, unprecedented means they've got a high level, so it's going to be really strict, which um, is the first time it's been this strict, this difficult. Now, Jocelyn, do you think that? The guy speaking, do you think that he thinks that Iran are going to agree to this finally or not? Did you get any idea of what he thinks? Maybe yes. Maybe no. <laughs> um, I. This is my opinion. He said Iran has a long history of building nuclear facilities in secret. If you do something in secret, what does that mean, Justin? In private. If you do, yeah, in private. So, in other words, they don't want people in the to dark. know. In the dark. So, but they have to agree to inspection. So he does not. Mm. He's skeptical. If you're skeptical, it means 
you think it is unlikely. So if I said, I am skeptical that Jocelyn will get married tomorrow. You're not getting married tomorrow, Jocelyn? No. Good. So I'm skeptical. I think it's unlikely. And so this, mm. this guy, the speaker, he's, he's skeptical because Iran like doing things in secret, in private, and they're not likely to agree to people going around the country inspecting them. Okay. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. All right. Now, that's, that's enough on Iran and its nuclear problems. Um, Wendy or Sylvia, could you, po could you paste that into the into the thing, please. Um, maybe I'll give you the token. Okay, now don't don't start it yet. Can I have the token back, please? We're good at this, aren't we? Um, just a minute. Now there are one, two, three, four, five questions there. I think there's about five students left who we've not talked to yet. Um, Henry. Yes, teacher. How are you? How are you? Okay, having a good day? I'm fine, thank you. Henry, could you do the first question, please? What helps okay. you make more money all the time? What? Okay. And. Uh, you can do the second one as well. So it says, what can you do to deal with risk? All right, so first sure. two questions, okay? Alan. Okay. Oh. Alan, could you do number three? What's the difference between saving and investment, all right? Okay. You're very colorful today, Alan. You look good in red. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Elisa. Yes. Hello. Can you do number f uh, four? It says, what are the four types of investment mentioned? Elisa, okay. don't worry if you can't get all of them, okay. but see what you can find, okay? Mm. Now, uh, Monica, hello. Hello. You sneaked in today. You weren't there before. Monica, can you answer the final question? It says, why do you take a risk by investing? Okay. Okay. Monica, do you understand what investing means? Uh, yes. What does it mean? Uh, means um but use money yeah you put you put money into buying something you hope will to what increase in You want the money to go up or down? Mm, increase in value. That's right. So you want you want your investment to be good, not bad, and you want more money out of your investment than you put in. So okay, all right. Can you start that when you're ready, please? Tas.
Okay. All right. Um, Henry, what makes more money over time? Well, you can invest or saving, or save your money in a bank. Good. But which makes more money over time, investing or saving? Investing. Hmm. I've said some savings. Anyway, all right, what can you do to deal with risk? Well, the most important of all is to get informed. You can do that by doing some research. Yeah. Where can you do the research? On the internet. Yeah. Or, if you've got no internet? Excuse me? If you haven't got any internet, how else can you get information? about well investing. you can look at how their financing is going recently yeah so you can ring them up because ba banks love getting phone calls and taking your money from you do you have any investments yet no no, no. what would you invest in yourself if you had a if you had two thousand dollars and your parents said invest it, what would you do? I would put it in a bank and not spend it anywhere else. Would you put it into an in, into a savings account or would you put it into some in, in a, a specific type of investment for which would you choose? I think I would choose the saving account. Yeah, it is safer. Okay, yes, thanks, Alex. Thank you. Miss Elisa, hello. Yes. What's the difference between saving and investment? This, this is Alan's question, not mine. Oh, is it Alan? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I missed one out. All right. Well, all right, Alan. Do you want to answer that? Okay. Mm, is the chance of losing money? Yes, that's right. Would you like to lose money, Alan? I suspect not. Well, savings grow steadily with interest. So savings is like that, slow but sure. Investment, it could go whoosh and down again. So the difference is that saving is slow and sure. Investing is a bit of a risk, and you do have a chance you could lose it. Okay. Um, I think I might have missed you out by mistake, um, Elisa. Did I? Did I miss you out? That's not your question, is it? Uh, the fourth one is mine. All right. Uh, what was the question you asked you to do? Um, what are the four types of uh, investment you mentioned? Oh, <laughs> I've just told you by mistake, sorry. <laughs> All right. Which one would you choose, Elisa, and why? Um, private business. Right. Why? Um, because uh, because its risk its risk is more it's less than bond market. Yeah. Yep. Can you say that mm. word here? It's uh this word antics. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh. Val valuable. Uh, yeah, valuable maybe what? a container, or like yeah, a but vase. are they old or new? Uh, what? Antiques. Are they old or new? Old. Old. Is your grandma an antique? No. No. Why not? Mm, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
if you want to be rude about your grandparents, you can say they're antique. Mm. That means they're very old. But antiques yeah. are, um, if you like, inanimate. What does inanimate mm. mean? Non-life, non-life. That's right, they're no life. So your grandparents can't be antiques because generally they don't increase in value. They probably mm -hmm. decrease in value if you try to sell them. <laughs> so what about you, yeah. Alisa? Are you worth a lot of money? Uh, can you repeat that again? Are you worth a lot of money? If your parents try to sell you, Elisa, what what could what could they say that were your qualities? Uh, uh, it's. Uh, I think it depends on my experience. All right, you've got experience. Experience of what? Uh, Cooking? Mm, maybe. Um, the, maybe the social or... Right, so are you a social yeah. butterfly? No. <laughs> what does that mean? Mm. Someone who are good at uh, so social with, with everybody. Yeah, so he likes parties and moves along. All mm -hmm. right, so you you are you are socially responsible. That means that you're good socially and you don't you don't socialize too much. What other qualities do you have? Are you a hard worker? Um, yes, maybe. <laughs> maybe, all right. Um, yeah. Are you are you good with money? Um, good with money? Mm. Yes. Good. Can you cook? Yes. No, uh, a little, a little. Okay. Do you like housework? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are a reasonable investment. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Uh, thank you. Right, Monica. Yes. Why do you take a risk by investing? Because you have chance to earn more money. Exactly. So um, you can earn more money, but you don't know how it's going to do over time. Now, what about you, Monica? Are you a good investment? No. No. What are your qualities, Monica? So if anybody wants to contribute here, what do you think of Monica's qualities? What do you think about Monica's qualities? <laughs> Monica, who is who is your friend in the class? Lulu. 
Lulu. All right, Lulu, where are you? Where are you? I'm here. <laughs> tell me about my. Tell me about Monica. Um, she is kind. <laughs> kind, good. What else? Um, is she quiet and shy? No. So is she a social butterfly? Mm. <laughs> Not really. No, does she work hard? Yes. Right, Monica, tell me about Lulu. What are her qualities? Shy. She's shy. She's not shy. She loves talking. No, you don't like talking, or in English anyway. And she's she's considerate. Considerate. Okay. What does that mean, considerate? Uh, I don't. I don't know how to uh, describe. Is it is it is it positive or negative? Mm, positive. Positive. If, if you're considerate, it, it's like being kind. Oh. You think about other yeah. people's feelings, so it's very mm -hmm. similar word to kind. So, so you both like each other because you're quiet, you're shy, you don't talk much, and you're kind. That's good. You must be lovely girls. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. okay. Right. Um, um, is there anybody here who is not spoken to today? Uh, how did you get on there, Alan? Henry. Yes, teacher. Do you know what this building is? The Taj Mahal. Good. How did you know that? Because it looks like an Indian design. Mm. You've seen it before, obviously. Yes, I've, I've seen it a lot of times in our Do textbooks. Do you know what it is? You know what 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 um what it's it was used for or is used for? It's a tomb for a queen. That's right? right. It's a tomb for a queen. I think he's in there now as well. And I think I think it's about six hundred years old. I'm not sure about that. I've forgotten. I, I've actually, yeah. I I've actually been there and it's quite spectacular. It's made of white marble. I and believe uh, it is. Visit, yeah, it's, it's visited by by several million people every year. Okay. Thank you. Now, Thank you, India, teacher. good opportunity for Taiwan firms. So they're saying India is a good place for Taiwan. So since liberalizing trade in 1991, so liberalizing means they made trade easier. India has become the world's 10th largest economy by gross domestic product and the third large by purchasing power according to the International Monetary Fund. Its share of global GDP is 5.69% up from, so everything's good, although showing somewhat, slowing somewhat, compared to the world average it's still good. So India has great business and investment opportunities for Taiwan companies. Um, I think I've asked everybody here. Amy? Hello. Are you cold? No, but it's comfortable. Mm. Oh, that's right. As long as you're comfortable. You've got a big coat on, nice yellow one. Amy, what is a gross domestic product? Pardon? What's a gross domestic product GDP? It means it means the uh, how the country earn in one year. Yeah, that's right. So the India has got the tenth largest economy in the world, so the tenth largest GDP. And the reason is um, it liberalised trade. In other words, it's got free trade with other countries. 
Now, it's talking about the global GDP. What do you think that means, the global GDP? The world or money? Yep. So the whole money in the world, that's right. And India of about 5.69%. So that's a fair amount of money. So is this paragraph saying that India has a good economy or a bad economy? Very good economy. That's right, very good indeed. And it says India has great business and investment potential for Taiwan. Potential is It means um, it have it have ability to do something. That's right. So it hasn't been. Yeah, it it, it has a lot of um, hope for the future. What about you, Amy? Do you have a lot of potential? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I will try hard. You're not sure that. Good, that's all we can do. So India are trying hard and like you, they hope to be successful in the future. Thank you, Amy. Now, according Thank to you. this ROC, I have no idea what ROC is, Ministry of Finance. ROC means Taiwan. I thought it might. Thank you. Uh, so the Taiwanese Minister of Finance, Taiwan's exports were valued at 3.38 3 billion and imports at 2.62. So they've risen, actually, sorry, they've gone down compared to 2011. So the, the figures have gone down, primarily due to a slowdown in India's domestic demand and a 12.7% of depreciation of the rupee against the dollar. So there are two reasons. So uh, where are we? Annie. Yeah. All right, Annie, uh, looking at this paragraph, do Taiwan spend, do Taiwan import, uh, how do I put it? Are Taiwan exporting or importing more money, more to, to India? Do they, do they, which do they get greater value from, imports or exports? Export. That's right. So you're exporting 3.38 billion and you're only importing so that it's in Taiwan's favor. So you have a net, so you're making more money from them. Now, it's declined since 2011. So the figures are down since last year or two years ago. Now, there are two reasons. Well, what are the reasons? So there's a decline. Why is it declined? Two reasons. A slowdown in India's domestic demand. And? And 12.7% uh, depreciation of the repeat against the US dollar. What's the depreciation? Up or down? Down. That's right. Appreciation. Uh, <laughs> it, that means going up. So if the dollar appreciates, we don't usually say that, but if it appreciates, it goes up, and if it depreciates, it goes down. Um, if I said to you, Amy, do you appreciate somebody helping you? What does that mean? So if you do you, if you appreciate somebody, what does that mean? I like something. That's right. You like it or you're happy with them. Okay. So what do, what do you appreciate people doing for you? What sort of thing? Can you say that again? Yeah. Um, what sort of thing 
do you appreciate somebody doing for you? Help me on homework. <laughs> Good. All right. Fair enough. Help you at homework. It's always nice when people help you to do your work. Um, is it cold in your classroom, Annie? Everybody seems to be wearing big, lots of clothes. Are you, what? Are you cold? A little bit. <laughs> oh, interesting. Because I thought I was, I was thought it was hot in Taiwan. It must be air conditioning. Right, thank you, Annie. Well, frozen to yep. death. <laughs> All right. Um, is Vicky there today? Yes, I'm here. Ah, all right, Vicky. I'll ask you a question. Okay. In a minute. Sure. Um, because of entry barriers and other concerns, Taiwan firms have adopted a wait and see strategy. You can tell me what that means in a minute, Vicky. Wait and see strategy. Anyway. So they've adopted a wait to see leading Taiwan ranked only number 41 in direct investment in India, far behind its major competitors. Data from India's Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion show that between April 2000 and May December 2012, Taiwan invested 5.64 million, sorry, 65.64 million, while Japan put in billion. So the investment of Tai of Taiwan in in India is very, very, very much less than Japan. So uh, that so that you, you've really only put a few million in, whereas the U.S. sorry Japan and South Korea have put in a lot more than you. Now, uh, Vicky, what is a wait and see policy? Sorry, strategy. Maybe it's about you have to wait and observe the situation and see what may happen and then do it. That's right. That's right. So, so if you were going to adopt a wait and see strategy, see strategy, give me an example me an of example what you would, what would do. do. So what are you so what looking to the future? What are you adopting a wait and see strategy about? Uh, you mean example? Something in your life. Something in your life. In my life, when I see um, mid mid turn, you <laughs> say. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so you're not sure. Wait and see what happens in the future. You can't make two predictions make now. Um, if I said, if I how, said many how many countries, countries invest more in India, India than, than Taiwan, Taiwan, what's your answer? What's your answer? So how many countries, so how many countries invest countries more, more in India than Taiwan? Indian, Taiwan? Um, the answer is 40. <laughs> 40, exactly. Because so, you're number 41. So so. Yeah. And the, as I said, you, this is millions. Japan's billions. Japan's so there's a huge so difference. A huge difference. I think you've just Taiwan has just put enough in to not put, not commit itself too heavily. Okay, thank you. Um, why aren't you appearing on the list, Vicky? Oh, you are. Sorry, didn't see you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ivy, you're next. I'll ask you a question in a minute. Now it says the country's huge and diverse economy offers a wealth of opportunities. You can tell me what that means in a minute, uh, Ivy. Half of India's 1.2 billion people um, are under the age of 25. So 50% of people are less than 25 which is actually a lot. In Australia, it's probably the opposite now. There's a lot of people that are older than, than that. I, 
demographic dividend for no a demographic dividend for foreign investors looking for an energetic and resourceful workforce. So a demographic dividend, a dividend is like in a percentage, uh, like an interest payment. So if you get a dividend, it's like an interest payment. So a demographic dividend is, demographic is referring to a group of people. So it's saying that these people under 25 are positive demographic dividend. Why? Because foreign investors looking for an energetic and resourceful workforce. They're saying they're young and resourceful. Moreover, rapid urbanization is creating more middle and upper consumers, upper class consumers. Um, so the urban population was 290 million. Now it's in doubled by 2030. All right. Uh, Ivy, what is a wealth of opportunities? Many opportunities. Yeah, lots and lots of rich, rich place of opportunities. Now, they're describing India's workforce as energetic and resourceful. Why? Maybe because they can do more work. Mm, why? You're right, but why? Why? Uh, why? Because they are young. Exactly, because they're young. So they're saying because they're young, they're energetic and resourceful. Uh, in in Australia, we say young and frisky. Frisky means that you're. Um, you're agile. You 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 you're eager to do things like a cat. Yeah, it was like a cat is frisky. It jumps up and down when it's a kitten and does a lot of things. So you know, are you young and frisky, Ivy? Maybe not. Maybe not. So, but you're not you're not old and senile yet, are you? Um, no. No. So you, I think, I think you're more at the young and frisky end than the old and senile end. Okay, thank you, Ivy. Do you have a cat? No. Why not? Uh, because I live in apartment. Apartment. Mm. <laughs> apartment. Okay. Could you have a goldfish? Used to. Mm. Did you take it for walks? <laughs> um, maybe swim. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Thank you, Ivy. Um, Mike. Actually, no. Yeah, hello, Mike. How are you? Mike? Yeah? Are you in the lab? What? Are you in a laboratory? No, I'm in a classroom. In the classroom with the rest? Oh, sorry. I, I'm... No, it, it looks like uh, looks just the like way the, this picture is. It looks like you've got sort of something behind you. It looks like a laboratory. That's strange. Uh, sorry, Mike. Uh, what's uh, an urban population? Uh, that means uh, people inside the city. That's right. Now it says rapid urbanization. Rapid urbanization is creating more middle and upper class consumers. Why? What does this mean and why? So why is rapid urbanization increasing middle and upper classes? Uh, because People get richer and 
Yes, I really do. Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, because the country's huge and diverse economy offers a wealth of opportunities. That's right. So That's right. if you make cities, there's building, there's all sorts of things, so uh, the more the merrier, the, you know, there's lots of opportunities. Um, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, just a second, please. I need to... David. Yes. How are you? Not bad. All right. Sorry. I'm just <laughs> what have you been doing this week, David? Sorry. What have you been doing this week? Mm-hmm. All right. Since you're shy, David. Tell me about this picture. Good. Read the cap. Read the caption, and tell me why what it is talking about. Oh. Uh, two elephants. <laughs> yeah, two elephants. Um, Very good. One of one of them like a uh, mother. Yeah. And uh, the other is her son. Well, it's, it could be a son or daughter. All right, now it says a female elephant can be pregnant for almost two years. Was your mother pregnant with you for two years, David? So was your mother pregnant with you for two years? Ten months. No. How long? How long is a normal pregnancy? A human pregnancy. Ten. Ten. Ten months. We we usually say nine months actually, but um, so nine months or up to forty weeks. So we say nine months and four. Um, Okay. Now, (laughs) why do elephants have a two-year pregnancy, do you think? What's the reason? Um, Maybe... Teacher, you mean why, why elephants? Uh, need two years to yeah um, I think they they need more time to to that that's correct to be a, to be bigger that's right they need more time to grow now I want you to look at this elephant carefully. And I'm not going to tell you, but just put that picture in your mind and then look at the one I'm uploading now and tell me the difference. So this is another elephant. Now, I know it's got tusks. That's not what I'm talking about. But can you see any other difference in the head compared to the other picture? Well, I'm going to tell you, look at the ears. So look at these ears, okay? And then go back and look at those ears. Which which ones are bigger, this picture or the other? So who has the biggest ears? The other. No, this one. The other one. The other one is smaller. Because look, the, the ears there... 
don't go below, they, they come up to about here. But the other one, the ears are below below there, so they're, these are bigger. Okay? Now, do you know there are two countries in the world or two places that have elephants? One is Africa. Where is there another place in the world where there are elephants? Asia. Okay. What part of Asia? Begins with I. I don't know. We've just been talking about it in the last. All right. I'm going to tell you India. So African India. elephants have big ears, and Indian elephants have small ears. I'm not sure about these other places that Leonard's given, Thailand and Indonesia, I don't know, but Thailand certainly have elephants, and I think they've got small ears. So it's like the rest of Asia. The, the, the Asians tend to be small like their elephants. Africans have got big ears. So which of you got, David, small ears or big ears? Bigger. Are you have you got big ears, have you? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, okay, thank you, David. I shan't ask you to show your ears. Leo. Leo. Okay. Yes. Tell oh. tell me about tell me about this picture. Oh. What animal is it? Armadillo. Yeah, armadillo is how we say armadillo. Armadillo. It's called armadillo. Yeah, armor. Yeah, in the West is like a metal, metal protection. So we uh, and some 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 soldiers have body armor made of uh, special plastic. Now, and so they call it an armadillo because this looks like armor. So they call it an armadillo. Now, an armadillo. What is this armadillo doing? So this armadillo, it's it's doing. So what's it doing? Breastfeeding. Good. Breast it's, it's feeding its babies. It's breastfeeding. Or the other word is suckling. So if you're suckling your babies, you're breastfeeding. Now, what fact does it tell you about female armadillos? So in here, tell me what it's saying about armadillos. Armadillo always have uh, four babies at the same time, and the and baby are always the same sex. So if I asked you, is the pregnancy of an armadillo the same as a human pregnancy, what would be the answer? No. No what? No what? Uh, why not? Why not? Oh. Human babies may have different sex. And How many babies do women have at a time, usually? One or two. That's right, one usually. Two is less common. 
So how many babies do you want eventually, Leo? One, two, or four? Maybe two. Two, okay. At the same time? Uh, yes. Yes, all right. And are you going to have them personally? Uh, sorry. Are you going to have the babies personally? Oh, no. Who will? I don't know. You don't know yet, fair enough, your wife. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't got one at the moment. Wife. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't think there's anybody I haven't spoken to. All right. Uh, Rita, who shall I ask the next question? Who shall I ask the next question, Rita? You, you, you name somebody. Uh, Ivy. Ivy, all right. Ivy. Or Ivy, it says the National Safety Council reports that the object most choked on is the toothpick. What does choked mean? Obstruct what? As other thoughts. Yeah, so it, it, you cough <coughs> and you can't. Now, why do you, all right, it says the toothpick. Why do you think people choke on toothpicks? What do they, what are they doing with the toothpick? Maybe they swallow it. Yeah, by mistake. So they're doing their teeth and I'm not quite sure how you swallow it, but anyway. Do you think it's a good thing to swallow a toothpick? Uh, absolutely not. Why? Why not? Uh, it will be painful. Yes, and it's sharp. So if that gets into your, we call it the gullet. The proper name is esophagus. Esophagus is the tube when you swallow. The food goes down your throat into your esophagus or your gullet. And if, you, if that gets into your gullet, it will perforate. That perforate means make a hole. So if you, sorry, P-E-R-F-O-R-A-T, perforate your gullet, your esophagus. And if it does that, it'll kill you. So it's, it's not a good thing. Uh, I gather these are popular in your country, toothpicks, Ivy? Um, yes. Yeah. What else can you, instead of a toothpick, what else can you use to clean your teeth? Floss. That's right, floss. And floss is safer, I think. But uh, we don't use many toothpicks in Australia for some reason. They are there. But I do know that if I ever go to an Asian restaurant, there's toothpicks everywhere. Okay, Ivy, you suggest we've got time for one more. You choose one of the males. So you have to choose a man in the class. Who do you want to pick? Uh, Alan. Alan. All right, Alan. I'm not going to ask yes. why she picked you. Alan, um, what animal is that? Dolphin. Right, and what's special about it? He has a smart brain. Yeah, so whose brain is bigger, yours or the dolphin's?
Excuse me? Whose brain is bigger, brain yours is bigger. or the dolphins? Or the dolphins. Uh, <laughs> uh, dolphins. Yeah, who do you think is more intelligent, you or the dolphin? You or the dolphin. Dolphin. Yeah, it depends on yeah, what depends on you use, use to measure, to measure intelligence. intelligence. Uh, if, uh, if I ask you to do a, test, to do a test and write it down, you're write probably more successful. If I ask you to catch a fish, I suggest the dolphin is probably better than you at catching fish. All right. Now, uh, where are we? Coco. Yes. How's your dancing career? <laughs> no. Some, somebody says you're going to do it next week. <laughs> no. If we do, can we film? Can we film you on a camera and put it on the website so everybody can see? <laughs> no. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you an extra 2% on your mark if you dance when you do your presentation. So whoever is your group, 2% extra. <laughs> All right, Coco, I'll stop harassing you. Um, now, the other thing I'd like people to do uh, is to do a... Um, To, to, to do is to do a um, what's the word to, uh, to put up to put up a profile of themselves. So a profile is a picture uh, with a short written text about you. So each year we ask students to send the TA a picture and to um, to just write one or two lines, what you like, what you don't like, what you do. So I want this done in the next fortnight, please. And then we, we put it up on the website. It's private. It doesn't go out of the website, so it's not like YouTube. And it's just for, and I, I'm going to give you 2% of your mark based on your profiles. Nicholas. Some of them yes. have already yes. uploaded their profile. Have you checked? Have they? All right. Well, have right? I haven't. Yeah, no, yeah, but anybody has not done it. Please do it. Okay. 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 Uh, what's the other thing, Pearl? Um, next week we're going to. Shall I talk about WikiLeaks? Yes, please. Why not? But what, one of the. I can't remember who it was, unfortunately. But one of the uh, people here, yeah. one of the girls, knew about it. Most didn't. Okay. Um, and next week we have three groups doing presentation. So three. should we do it? Okay. Uh, one at every section. One at that one at every peri period. Okay. Yeah. So we'll okay. we'll start each each hour with one. That'd be good. Okay. Now one last question uh, to you all. I I want one. The exam was too hard. So la last week, I noticed that nobody did really well. Some did, most of you did okay, but I want you to quit. So one, it was too hard. One, it was too, two, it was too easy. Or three, it was okay. So I'm going to poll you. And would you give me your opinion as to, about the exam last week? Was it too hard, too easy, or okay? Because I know people didn't seem to do very well. So because then this, if you... You know, anyways. So please answer. Most of you have already. That's good. Lulu, and good, 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 good. That's most. All right, that's everybody actually, uh, except for Johnny. Come on, Johnny. You think the exam was too hard? Okay. Just let me see. The poll results often take a minute or two to show up for some reason. So one, why I've got no idea. Nearly there. <laughs> the 
final result was all right so all right so uh, that was hard too hard that was too easy so most of you didn't think it was too easy and most of you thought it was okay all right uh that's interesting because i know none of you got into the none of you got uh some generally a couple of you get most things right that wasn't the case this time most people got uh, got everybody got less than 50 out of the 60 so uh, that's unusual most of you thought it was okay but quite a few thought it was too hard all right i just wanted to know for the future exam okay we'll stop there if that's okay paul we'll see you next week See you. Okay. Bye-bye now. Have a good week.